a sweet aroma, as it used to say in the Old Testament, when the Israelites worshipped you and did the burnt offerings, it said that the fragrance was pleasing to you. And so, God, I pray that our worship today will be pleasing to you as we worship in song, in fellowship, as we worship in prayer and in the word. May all that we do today glorify and honor you. God, may we leave this place different because of an encounter with the power of the Holy Spirit. It's in Jesus' name that I pray these things. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. I'm starting to get nervous now. Enjoy this time of worship with us. Everybody's got a story. Everybody's got a song. Everyone's a little different. But we've all gone wrong And the Savior came And he took the blame He changed everything And the Savior came And he took the blame He changed everything Oh, I can sing about I can sing about
got some good guitar players here today. So awesome to do something different and uh, to share things with you. And I want to get a, dedicate the song to Barb. How 
today that we want to introduce. When Dave wrote this song, he was deeply moved by Sound of Freedom, the film about the horrors of child trafficking, and I'm sure many people here saw it. We didn't know where the Holy Spirit would lead us, but as we worked with it, the song became an anthem for all who are held in bondage, whether it's through sin, through demonic forces, or things beyond their own control. And mostly it's about God's loving care, even in those times. And I'm going to read Matthew 18. Um, At the time the disciples came to Jesus and said, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And he called a child to himself and set him before him and said, Truly I say to you, unless you are converted and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever then humbles himself as a child... He is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child in my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it would be better for him to have a heavy millstone hung around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. I I really didn't think we would do this song. I I was just thinking we would do a video of this song, and I just didn't know what what it would lead to. But... uh, this is a prayer that we have, and it's just so, so many things that we're seeing and witnesses that uh, is touching to us. But we all go through a lot of different things, and, and, the, and the chorus says there is hope in desperate places. That song, that part was written mostly for, for Barry. I thought of Barry because there was hope in a desperate place. And, and honest to God, it's, it's, it's just, it's God. And we lose people, and it's, and it's tragic, but there's still life. There's life at the end of that, even though we might miss people, but there is life. He is life. Here's nowhere to go. You're far from home. You've been taken away from friends, your life shaken, your body's cold, you're all alone, nowhere to go. Cold, cold hands have gripped your body. A covered face You see nobody You feel alone So far from home Nowhere to go There is hope In desperate places There is where death has taken your life means more cause God's your home you're not alone your body's ill so weak and hurting all life poured out Death is waiting, your body's cold, you feel alone, so far from home. There is hope in death. 
desperate places there is life where death has taken your life means more cause God's your home you're not alone when your life seems in shambles the circumstances too much to handle life seems low nowhere to go and far from home there is hope in desperate places there is life where death has taken your life means more cause God's your home you're not alone there is hope in desperate places there is life where death has taken your life means more cause God's your home you're not alone your life means more Cause God's your home, you're not alone. Father, our prayer is for Israel right now, Father God. First go out to, Father, we go pray for the children that have been taken, Father God, that are lost, Father God. Our prayer goes for them, Father God. Prayer goes for everyone here. That's in the circumstances that are just so hard to handle right now. Father, just, I just ask you to put your hand upon them, Father God. Lift them. Pray for peace over them, over their house, Father God, Lord. But all this, Lord, we rise, we rise above, Lord, with you. Because you are the comforter. You are the God that comforts us, Lord, in times of need, Father God. We praise your name. on this place today, Lord. With all that said, we want to be traveling a little light today. With everything going on, we want the Lord with us and we want to travel light because He's with us. Shoulders was a weight I carried with me every day. Crossing miles of frustrations and rivers of rage. And picking up stones I found along the way. I staggered and I stumbled down pathways of trouble. I was hauling those souvenirs of misery. And with each step taken, my back was breaking till I found the one who took it all from me. Down by the riverside, down by the river I side. lay my burdens down. Now I'm traveling like my spirit lifted high. I found my freedom now. I found my freedom now, and I'm traveling like. The darkest alleys and loneliest valleys I 
was dragging those heavy chains of doubt and fear. Then when one word spoken, the locks were broken. Now he's leading me to places where there are no tears. Down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. I lay my burdens down. Now I'm traveling like my spirit lifted high. I found my freedom now. I found my freedom now. And I'm traveling like. shoulders was a weight I carried with me every day. Crossing miles of frustrations and rivers of rage and picking up stones I found along the way. I staggered and I stumbled down pathways of trouble. I was hauling those souvenirs of misery. And with each step taken, my back was breaking till I found the one who took it all from me. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside. I lay my burdens down. Now I'm traveling like my spirit lifted high. I found my freedom now. I found my freedom now, and I'm traveling like down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. I lay my burdens down. Now I'm traveling like my spirit lifted high. I found my freedom now, and I'm traveling life. My burdens down. Now I'm traveling life. My freedom now. Now I'm traveling life. My spirit lifted high. I found my freedom now. I found my freedom now, and I'm traveling life. I wonder this morning, how many of us might be carrying some burdens that God doesn't intend for us to carry? How many times have you given something over to God only to end up picking it back up again? See, those are the rocks that we're singing about. Those are things that God does not want. When we lay it at the foot of the cross, friends, that's where it needs to stay. And that doesn't mean you're not still praying. It doesn't mean that you're still not thinking a little bit. But to pick it up and suddenly now you're the one responsible for making it work, making it happen. That's not what laying burdens down means. You lay it down. You give it to the Lord. Leave it there. And boy, how much nicer that is when you're not carrying things that you are not intended to carry. Amen. 